Welcome to the last study vlog of the school year. It feels crazy to say that because the past eight months have just flown by. I've grown so much and also learned a lot. But first year is quickly coming to a close. We technically still have the month of May allotted to work on an individual project, but my finals will be over by the end of next week and this semester I have four. I'll be talking you through how that looks like as well as how I'm studying as we go through the video. And right now I'm just eating some breakfast and charging my devices because I'm gonna go head off to Starbucks for the day. I love my desk, but I spent the whole weekend here and I sort of just want a change of pace. I decided to use my stars to redeem a free drink, and I believe this is called the moon drink. It was trending on TikTok a year or two ago, and it's essentially just some pumps of chai in a matcha latte. It was pretty good, but I definitely wouldn't pay full price for it. So for the end of this year, I have four finals, all of which are pass-fail. My goal isn't necessarily to get 100%, but rather to be comfortable with my level of knowledge and be able to understand the concepts so that I can later apply them clinically. I'll explain the contents of the different exams as we progress through the video, but in summary, the first one is an OSCE, the second one is a lab exam, the third one is a multiple choice exam which covers all of our lecture content, and the fourth one is foundations of scholarship which is pretty much looking at types of research, statistics, etc. My standing desk just got delivered. I ended up having to push it all the way through the apartment to my unit because I couldn't lift it up. It's probably going to take some time to set up, so I'm going to do it later and just keep studying. <laughs> so even though there's less than a week before my first written final, we're still continuously being taught content. Luckily, there were recordings of all the lectures, so I was able to get ahead and actually finish all the new content for the week, even though it was only Tuesday. I wanted to get any new learning out of the way so I could focus my time on just review. It's time to go on a run. I'm starting to get a bit restless from sitting at my desk all day and this is the first day where it's been sunny in a while so I thought I'd take advantage of the nice weather. I actually just started running at the beginning of this year. It used to be something that I really didn't like doing but I signed up for a race in May so I've been trying to get more consistent with it. Out the window, reaching for a North Star Waiting just to wake up from this nightmare where you could be right back in my arms I forgot to show this before I started eating, but I made some kimchi fried rice with the leftover rice from yesterday. And in around an hour, I'm gonna be meeting one of my content creator friends at a coffee shop to do some work. Here's a quick outfit of the day. I'm wearing this brown puffer vest from PacSun. Um, and then underneath, I have like this white linen button up from Zara. I'm wearing this black top from Dynamite. These green cargos that I recently picked up from Ritzia and my Nikes as usual. The study workflow that ended up working for me looks something like this. When I'm watching the lectures, I'll annotate the slides on good notes with any points that might have been missed. Then I'll go through week by week and pull out some key points from each lecture. I normally don't refer back to this document for future studying, but it helps me think of the bigger picture and tie the whole week together. Then I'll go ahead and make Anki cards for each week. If you haven't heard of Anki before, it's basically a software you can use for spaced repetition. There's so much information out there about it, but in summary, the difficulty that you a card determines how often you'll see it and through using an algorithm it optimizes your learning and long-term retention. The reason that I like to use it is because there's so many things to study and I can never decide what I should focus my attention on so by using these flashcards it decides for me what I'm studying next and through doing that I'm able to ensure that I cover the majority of the content. The spin class that you saw us do was actually a fundraiser ride, so it was at a studio that I've never been to before. It was a really nice place, and there was also a lot of other med students in the class. And then afterwards, Kenzie and I just got some food and walked around Falls Creek. It was really nice to just unplug and take a breather this evening because I think the next week will be really busy. So this is your reminder that taking breaks is also important. I feel like oftentimes, especially when we have a lot to do, we feel like we always have to go, go, go. But sometimes just giving yourself that extra time to breathe will actually help you feel more refreshed and be more effective when you get back to work. So I'm just gonna call it an early night today and we'll be back on it tomorrow morning. Okay, it's noon right now and I'm about to head to Starbucks again. I was originally planning to study at my desk all day today, but somehow I managed to do like only one thing in like the past three hours. I had this moment where 
how much I really have to do finally sunk in. And I think because of that, I felt like paralyzed and couldn't decide what to do. So I thought I would show this and normalize not every day going to plan, but I'm gonna switch up my work environment and hopefully that sort of helps me get going again. In an ideal world, at the end of each week, I'd be done making my Anki cards. But that is not how reality looks like. Some weeks, I'm on top of my work and I'm able to accomplish that goal. But there's other weeks where I don't quite get to that and there's not enough time to catch up since we're constantly being thrown new information. So the last two, three weeks before the final is when I end up sitting down and intensively playing catch up for anything that I might have missed. Due to the differences in progress that I have week to week, I have this spreadsheet that helps me track my studying. It shows me what I've already done and what I still need to do and really just helps me stay organized and holds my life together. Going to Starbucks was actually so helpful. I managed to finish quite a bit and I'm pretty happy with the progress. Tonight I'm actually going to Vancouver Fashion Week. Last year I actually worked Fashion Week as a photographer in Toronto but I've never attended as a guest so that's gonna be my first time today. For some reason the shows start quite early today. We have to be there before 5 so I'm just getting ready early and letting my makeup sit for a bit before it's time to leave. Um, so this year I'm bringing Mina as my plus one and Marilyn will also be there. You guys might have seen her from the previous vlog. <laughs> I didn't film much this morning, but during the day I did some review and then I headed off to go practice for Oski's with my friends before picking up some groceries on my way home. I just got back from No Frills and picked up some groceries for the week. The kitchen is not looking so great right now, so I'm gonna put these away and also do a little quick clean of the space. This bag that I use is from Begu. Um, it's a great reusable bag, folds up into a little square. Got some ground beef, medium firm tofu, and this cauliflower crumble for my proteins this week. For veggies, I always do this bag of lettuce, red pepper and two tomatoes, a cucumber, and mushrooms. I also got the sourdough last week and it was great for breakfast, so I repurchased it. I have some 2% plain yogurt. I got two snacks because my pantry is currently empty and a pack of instant noodles because it's exam season. One thing that I found is that decluttering my space helps me declutter my mind. When my space is messy, it's easier for me to feel overwhelmed. So today I did a quick clean, put some stuff away, decluttered, and immediately I felt much better. It's currently 7 o'clock and I just finished reviewing two weeks of content. First three weeks of the semester were on the HPO axis and I found the concepts are like really translatable. Once you sort of get a grasp on it, it's really easy to conceptually think about like all the different axes. Today is another run day. I don't really want to go because I'm so cozy right now, but I know that I'll feel good afterwards. So we're going to just not think about it and go do it. After my run, I did some more OSCE prep by myself. An OSCE is an objective structured clinical examination, and how ours looks like this year is eight different stations, four history taking, three physical exams, and then one written station to follow up a physical exam. Each station, you have 10 minutes to demonstrate the clinical skills that you've learned throughout the semester. Good morning, we're just doing a last minute run through of all the different clinical exams. I'm practicing with a stuffy. I'm just trying to go through all the different elements of the exam so I don't miss anything, as well as figure out exactly how I'm gonna verbalize the results. Currently 10.50, so once I finish up with this, I think I'm actually gonna make lunch so I can be all fueled up before I leave. It's not too far, so I'm gonna walk there, but I'm feeling nervous. That was actually not too bad. I thought there was only eight minutes per station, but turns out there was 10 minutes per station, which meant that I finished basically every station early, and then it was like, I feel like you can't really study that much for the history taking stations. You just need to follow the general interview framework. So it's more like something you have to deduce and figure out what to ask based on symptoms and based on what they tell you. I was a bit worried about that because I wasn't sure if that process would come naturally or if it would be something that I would have to work on. There's obviously some things that I missed and some things that I could have asked, but 
I did feel like there was always like thoughts or questions popping up into my head and there was like, a good flow in the in different interviews and for the exams they were okay as well I definitely felt much more confident this time around compared to when we did our formative OSCE last semester just because since we've got more practice and been exposed to more exam types I feel like there's more of a structure that I can follow in my head and like knowing what to look for versus last time I feel like I was just memorizing the exact things that I was trying to say I'm sure there's still tons of areas where I can improve but I'm happy with how today went. But now, I have to study for three more exams. Um, it's already 8 p.m. Um, no, 7.40. I took a break after I got home because I had like high adrenaline for a while. And I also made some dinner. I made some rice with tomato and eggs, uh, frozen veggies from Costco, and then some cauliflower crumble. Before my first lab exam, I still need to learn two neuroanatomy labs. And I would like to review the rest of anatomy, neuroanatomy, and radiology. These three topics were all longitudinal throughout the semester. So we got to get on it. Actually, before I do that, I ordered this package from Best Buy like a month ago. It's these LED lights for the back of my TV. I haven't used my TV since midterm season when I was using it to do my Anki cards. So this is the perfect opportunity to set it up before I use it for that again. You love the summer rain. I hope this is an easy setup. Mid-July, mid-July. My last name fits you better. When I'm with you, there's no pressure I miss your worn out sweaters Weather couldn't compromise I love, I spend too much time on Good morning, I just got ready and I'm about to head to Walmart because I'm actually filming a sponsored video with them. By the time you see this, it should already be out, but basically I'm styling these new dresses that they just released. Unfortunately, the nearest Walmart is like 40 minutes away, so I'm just gonna do my Anki cards on the way there. <laughs> the app is so good for when you're commuting. Um, yeah. I'm gonna bring my Uniqlo shoulder bag with my bagu, AirPods, and wallet. My roll up to win prize also expires today, so I'm gonna stop by Tim Hortons and get a coffee. It's 8.45, I'm making some tea. I just submitted the draft of the sponsorship that I filmed earlier today. Typically I like to taper a bit and slow down right before the exam, but I still have a lot to do. The plan for the rest of the night is to go through all the anatomy and neuroanatomy labs. It's currently exactly 8.50 p.m. Oh, my tea's ready. One of the resources that I've been using to study anatomy is this app called Human Atlas. Some institutions have a free trial, that's how I originally learned about it, but after that, it's a one-time purchase. I discovered it back in undergrad and I find it really helpful for learning anatomy. Sometimes I think it's difficult to conceptualize how like a flat image or illustration would look like on an actual person, and this helps things make more sense in my mind. I've also been watching the dissection videos they posted because a lot of the times they talk about helpful landmarks and identifying structures. Look at the vibes. One day left. Good morning. It is around 8.30 right now. The plan is basically to study the whole day with some breaks for food and for a workout and to shower in between. I'm actually really sad because it's sunny outside right now, but it's going to start raining again in the next hour until like literally for the rest of the week, actually. So I'm appreciating it while it lasts. Yesterday night, I was too tired. I finished all of anatomy and started doing my neuro flashcards, but I literally fell asleep on the couch. So the plan for today is just to finish the neuro lab review and then review some more like of the weekly content material. I know it's gonna be a long day, so I know I wanna switch up my work environment in between. I feel like I can only concentrate in one spot for like four to five hours. So I'm gonna do a cafe in the morning, um, back home for the afternoon, work out, and then back home again. Since the lab exam tomorrow, we've been broken up into, I think, four time slots, and I just happen to be the last time slot. So I only start my exam at around noon, so I'll have some time to sleep in, and also, if I need some extra time, then I know that's there. Baby, you could keep me going, cause you've been everywhere. Let me take up all the love you're showing, I need it more than air. And you know that I've been suffocating, you could 
Today my main focus was to go through my Anki cards and I sort of use this in two main ways. The first one is to memorize details or specifics which is great for anatomy, neuroanatomy, or for random facts and associations. And I'll also use this for cueing my recall of different processes or things that are more conceptual. For these, when a card comes up asking about a specific part of the process, I like to draw things out on my iPad so that I can better see a bigger picture. If there's something on a card that I don't know or understand, I'll pause, go back to my notes, slides, or watch a YouTube video, and make sure that I understand the concept and I'm able to explain it before moving on. Let's go run. I just finished my run and my mood is immediately boosted. I just feel like I've accomplished something and now I'm ready to take a nice warm shower. Here's what I picked up for a takeout. It's this kimchi bibimbap. So there's these toppings and you just put it on top of the rice. Here we go. It is 10 30 now i finished studying for tomorrow's exam a couple of hours ago and now i'm reviewing for the exam that we have after that that third exam is like the big exam with basically all the lecture content since the midterm so that's the longest one and the one that's like i'm the most worried about so i'm gonna try to study as much as i can tonight i'm gonna switch the tv again soon I'll link the little pink clicker I've been using throughout the video down below in the description box. Pretty much what it does is connect to your laptop using Bluetooth and then you can reprogram the buttons to be mapped to specific keys. And these keys are matched to your Anki shortcuts. I'll also put a video down below with further details because it's a bit hard to explain, but it does allow me to sit back and have better posture instead of being hunched over my screen all the time. Three, two, one. <laughs> Arguing again, arguing about something so simple. Make it clear, tell me why you're running back to him. You know, how are we feeling? We are feeling done. <laughs> I want this over with. <laughs> Yay. Okay, we just like, we this have. This is not aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> we have radiology and then anatomy, which includes neuro in it as well. So we'll be done in two hours, right? Like two yes. hours? Okay, see you then. Bye. <laughs> I got some more takeout, it's gonna be my lunch and dinner, and it was less than $20. Everything else in Vancouver is expensive, but at least there is good cheap sushi. I thought I'd talk about how the exam in the morning went as I eat my sushi. I got a lunch combo with beef teriyaki, California roll, and a miso soup, which totaled to like $9. Then I also added on another roll and these two nigiris. Um, yeah. So, thoughts on the exam. Um, I honestly don't know. As I mentioned, there was two parts to it. The first one was radiology, which was like a written exam, and that went fine. Um, the questions were really straightforward. It was exactly sort of what I was expecting. And the anatomy exam, which is the bell ringer, was interesting. Basically, it was just one circuit of 45 questions. Half of the um, exam was gross anatomy and the other half was neuroanatomy. There were different prosections at each table and you had a minute to look at it and answer the question. And the questions range from being like identify the structure to what interface the structure to what would a lesion in this cause. Since there's only one minute per station, the recognition ones are fine because you either know it or you don't. But the ones with more thinking, I don't think I could do fast enough. And there was this one specific station that I remember and I was thinking about it throughout the whole track. I didn't get to the answer in the first minute. So at the next station, I would like quickly do the station and then go back to thinking about the question. And the next station, I would like quickly do the question and then go back to thinking about the question. Because of that, I feel like I was sort of panicked inside because I was like, oh, I can't figure this out even though I know it. We'll see how that turns out. I will update you guys. So make sure to stay tuned to the vlogs. It's currently three o'clock and you already know I'm gonna be sitting right here for the rest of the day studying for tomorrow. Oh, listen, honey, if I told you about the way that I felt. I'm calling it, I'm done. The sun's out, I'm done my hardest and longest final. To be honest, I was a little bit worried about how this one would go. Um, just because I feel like I could have studied more and I just 
didn't know if I felt prepared. But writing the exam, I think it was one of the easier exams that I've done this year. I finished with plenty of time to spare and I didn't flag as many questions as normal. And this could totally be wrong. This is just like my immediate impression afterwards. And after that, I actually had it directly off to an event and I got sent home with this volume set. I've been looking to take better care of my hair. So we'll update you guys on how that goes. But as you can tell, now I'm off to go on a run because it's sunny and not raining. I'm excited, I'm feeling good. I think I'm actually gonna do my long run today. Ooh, every year right around June 21st. Ooh, I slip in my swimsuit, dive in head first. Everything's Picnic with my best friends We start to plan what we will do we are officially done. Um, this exam was shorter. It was only 50 questions, so around an hour. I think it was really straightforward. I just like reviewed the study guide for like 30 minutes, and that was pretty much it. I'm at Kenzie's right now because we're gonna head to hot yoga. Come say hi to the vlog. Hi vlog. Yay. We're doing the first week unlimited classes at Oxygen Yoga. Okay, no, I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, each location has a Well, do it, yeah, take advantage. And that brings us to the end of today's study vlog. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below because I have lots of videos coming up soon. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next week. Bye.